so hello guys welcome to a new video today we are going to do the video settings and normal settings guide but uh, especially uh, video settings because they're uh, very important there are literally some settings that people don't know about that you can see better through um, the side of molotovs and um, nades so first of all on the settings is your color mode always put it on computer monitor if you put it on television as you can see it's gonna be brighter but it's not good bright it's like uh, it makes your um, monitor white so don't uh, use it no, no one uses it then your brightness uh, the most people put it on 130 but it's preference definitely go one uh, go above 110 because i think 110 is default and if you go below it i mean why would you um, i play just on max and it looks good on every map resolution is also preference um, the main uh, important thing in resolution is aspect ratio. You can go with 4.3 or 69 or 16.10. 4.3 is stretched, so you will get less FOV, but a lot of players play it because it doesn't matter if you get less FOV, you can focus in the middle of your screen. It just makes player models bigger, but it doesn't actually make it bigger, it's just bigger on your screen. So the client and the server is still the same, but it looks like you can hit them easier but uh, on stretched they move faster too so it looks like uh, from farther away um, from farther away it moves um, faster so it looks like someone can move very fast and ferrari pick you so just play on 4-3 it's the best and if you don't need to you can play 69 69 is good too you have extra fov and if you just uh, from another game um, then Counter-Strike, if you're uh, like new, just play 69, I recommend you play 69, but for people who are known with Counter-Strike and known how to play Counter-Strike, just play 4-3. Then this resolution, go, I uh, don't suggest go under 1024 times uh, 768, because then everything will just look um, pixelated from far away. But I don't know, this one, don't use the last one, because you will get even less fov like vertical fov so just use uh this three if you're using four three if you have a really bad pc and can get your uh, monitor refresh rate just use this one if you just can um have enough F fov just this one use this one i have a good pc and i can hold my refresh rate but i still use this one because i'm just used to it i play with this stretch sense for i think four years now then you have display mode or obviously on full screen because you will get uh, input de delay if you put it on um, full screen window or windowed. Uh, I will show you one thing later in the video that um, will get you less input delay because even if you put it on full screen with windows basic settings, it's always windowed full screen. Even if you put it full screen here as so I'll show you a bit later. This disabled, um, this for people who have a laptop. And even if you have a laptop, put it disabled because if you disable it, you will get more FPS because power saving mode is not on. Then the most important settings, global shadow quality. But this, <clears throat> never put this on very low or low because you will, I mean, you if you get a really bad FPS, put this on low, but if you put it on medium, you will see uh, shadows really good, and then you can know if there is a peep, 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 uh, if there is a person behind that corner, or um, just a regular CT on the stool. You can see if there is someone short standing on the ridge, but with a very low, you can't see that, and with low, you see uh, just blurry pixel shadows, and with medium, you can see it perfect. There is almost no difference between medium and high. Just I just put it medium. Uh, model texture details, I don't know its preference, but I just put it low. There is almost no difference in the game and it's just um, graphics, so I don't really care. Texture streaming, always put it on disabled. You literally, I'm not going to explain it. If you want to know what it is, just search it up. It's very bad and it's actually trash. Just put it on disabled. Then you have effect details, put this on high and put shader SDT on high. If you have a bad PC, put this on low and low. But if you put this on low and low, you will see um, black smoke from nades and black smoke from molotovs. And you can't see good through molotovs. So um, if I, you put this on high, you can see very good through molotovs. And very good through um, uh, nade smokes. So I, that's why I put it on high. My FPS can, my PC can handle it. 
boost player contrast if you have a bad pc put this on disabled if you have a good one put this on enabled uh, what this does is uh, there is going to be a little uh, ridge uh, around the player it's going to boost the contrast of the player player models so you can see player bet players better but i think there was never a problem that you can see player or something in counter strike so i just put it on disabled i don't really care about that multi call rendering uh, i don't know what anyone says if you put this on disabled it's very dumb of you um just put it on enabled it's not by the way it's not literally multi core rendering it's not if you put this on disabled you only use one core it just it use less processes so put this on enabled you get a lot of fps more probably almost double multi sampling anti aliasing mode put this on at least uh, two times or four times if you put this as none everything is going to look pixelated you can if you if you have a really bad pc and you don't care about the little pixels pixels and the ridges put this on none i put this on a uh, eight times because i don't actually really care and my pc can handle it very well fxaa um, this setting it doesn't really work in counter-strike a lot of people on reddit um, have benchmarked it and doesn't really matter if you put this enabled and disabled and you can see difference in the game it just broken the setting you just put it disabled texture filtering mode you have actually to put this trillinear i put it billionaire because i like uh, the way how it looks through fences but normally just put it trillinear it's way better to see around corners the edges going to be better don't put it higher than trillinear it's literally no use uh, then you have a vertical sync just disable it it's dumb motion blur disable it triple monitor mode disable it and use uber shaders put this one on auto with, uh, with me it says this enabled so i just put it enabled but really just put this on auto and um, then you are fine so these are the settings that i use so from the things that i've told you you can just set, uh, use your settings and just you can benchmark uh, them i will put a benchmarking map in the description for you if you want to use it then audio uh, it's very important audio in counter strike so just put it more than 30 i mean you can hear a, hear a lot at 30 you can hear a lot at i mean 100 but don't put it at 100 it's too loud i put it 50 because i always play at 50 and i don't know why you can choose with this one but don't put this too low because you really need audio and counter strike the rest here is all preference except for advanced 3d audio processing put this on yes because you will actually not hear so good where the enemies are if you put this on no on off so the rest is preference then um these things just put them off it's like audio and music in the game you don't need music then game these are all preference i'm not gonna really um say what you have to use it's literally preference not graphical shit it's not fps uh, making fps difference so i'm gonna scroll real quick so you can see if you want to use something just pause but i'm not gonna explain everything like crosshair just put a crosshair that you uh, that's really visible um i don't care what people say because crosshair doesn't really matter I, you can even play with uh, like one point in your screen or with a big crosshair it's all the same uh then yeah keyboard and mouse it's um the same as well it's all preference except for as you can see if you're new to counter strike just go to uh it is toggle console right here and do it to um, bind it to a key you remember because it's very important um, the console and you will see if you play counter strike and just search console commands is very important you can do a lot of things with them mount sensitivity i play on a very low sense 400 dpi 1.36 um, why i play on it because i feel comfortable never go below like 1.1 or 1.2 on 400, 400 dpi and never go above like two point i mean you can actually but don't go above about uh, don't go above four cents if you play 400 dpi i mean i know woxic and people like them play on a low uh, on a high sense like that but it's not because they do you have to just play what you're comfortable but if you're really comfortable with the high sense just do it doesn't really matter raw input definitely do this on because you won't have like weird accelerations from other programs and mouse acceleration from counter strike definitely off these are the settings from counter strike now i'm going to show you the settings on windows
So now we are on Windows. First of all, what's very important is go to your Steam and um, open file locations. You can also go to the file locations if you don't have the desktop shortcut. Just go to your PC right here, then local disk, then program files times 86. Then go to Steam right here and then go to... This is your Steam file folder. First of all, what's very important, go search the Counter-Strike game. It's at Steam Apps, then Common, then Counter-Strike, then CSGO. Do right click and go Properties. There are two very important settings here that if you don't use them, you're going to lose FPS and just... Um, First of all, what I was talking about earlier is um, Counter-Strike is not on full screen even if it says it's on full screen because Windows won't allow it. Windows always um, do the Windows always um, puts EXE files and games like applications on Windows full screen because they optimize it, but they don't really. So put it on disable full screen optimization so it actually can run it on full screen it's very important so windows doesn't optimize your game and then change high dpi scaling behavior put this one on is very important too these two then do apply okay and then you're set then go right here and type graphic settings so the first setting you see right here is hardware accelerated blah 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 just put it on, it will uh, reduce your latency of your PC. Then browse right here. I, by the way, if you don't have this, doesn't matter. You just uh, on a old Windows, just update your um, Windows settings. And if it still it doesn't have it, it doesn't really matter. Just type um, then, just press browse right here. If you browse, then as we said earlier, go to Steam. Then go to Counter Strike. Steam apps, come on. Counter-Strike, CSGO, and type add. If you add Counter-Strike, then it will look like this. You have Counter-Strike here, then type options and put it on high performance mode. Then for the NVIDIA control panel settings, I have two, three important settings that everyone has to use, actually. First of all, your refresh rate, put it on the highest refresh rate. It's very important. Then go to manage 3D settings right here. And just copy my settings. It's literally, literally the best, factually the best settings for high FPS. So I will just, you can see, pause it right here. And you can use this. And then I'll go a little bit down. And pause it right here. You can use them. I'll pause it right there. And you can use them again. So this just um, let you use the high performance settings just normally. Get the best FPS and for your PC and get the best FPS out of your graphics card. Then right here, I have put brightness, contrast and gamma uh, on just the default settings. I think gamma, I lowered it a little bit because it was like too uh, bright. But why I have just the basic settings is because I adjust it from my monitor settings. Um, if you want to adjust your video settings, like the color settings, it's preference and it's just your monitor or right here just... Play with it and just check what you like in game in Counter Strike. One thing that I recommend a lot is put digital vibrance on 100. As you can see, if I put it on 50, it looks like a little bit less red and less vibrant. And if you put it on 100, the colors just pop out. And that's how the pros and all the people you watch on YouTube get like in Counter Strike nice colors and everything is like just red and colorful. So that was the settings I want to tell you about. Then adjust video um, color settings. Put this on, in, on uh, NVIDIA settings and not the video player settings. Then this don't like mess with this. It's just normal for every PC. Then go to advanced and put this on full if it isn't already. Normally it should be on full. I'm, I'm not really sure. But just put this on full. Then you get a lot of colors in Counter-Strike that you wouldn't able to see with limited. So put full. Then for the last part, uh, an audio setting. Just right click on your audio thing and go to sound settings. Then go to sound control panel. You can also access this thing by just typing sound right here. And then you can go to sound control panel if you don't find it. So with as you can see, playback. I use my headset. 
you can right click it then properties then go to advanced you have to really 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 turn this one off because if you don't counter strikes just with messing with your headphone and a lot of people have that problem i was watching a video about it another day and that uh, audio is just um, adjusting itself in game if it's too loud or too low but just don't do it just put this to off the spatial sounds definitely off it's like a bad enchantment for windows then enchantment put immediate mode or just put everything off um i'll rather put immediate mode because it just use my headset settings and not the pc because the pc doesn't need audio settings i just want one to one ratio settings if you know what i mean then right here i just put um always on the this setting why i don't put it on higher settings is because if you it um, sounds really weird but if you put higher quality sounds on your pc it's just bad for your graphics card not bad but i mean if you use higher audio settings you will get less fps it sounds really weird but it's actually true it's like five percent loss if you put it on the highest so i just put it on the default when movies always uh, are using and shit it's uh, 48,000. actually it's this one but i rather use 24 bits so then just apply okay and it was actually the most important part of the uh, settings so if you actually want to know something else i know a lot of about pcs and a lot of about counter strike uh playing i've been playing counter strike for almost five years i think like almost every day and if you have settings um, that you don't understand or something that you don't understand just put it in the comments and i'll uh, probably comment on it if i see the comment so thanks for watching the video if you would like um, to support me and like the video or subscribe um, i would uh, really appreciate that and thanks for watching the video